What is up guys? In today's video we're going to be looking at the guard keyword and the guard is like a backwards if else statement and let's just jump right into it because it was quite confusing but I'm going to do my best to explain it. So the first thing we're going to do is create a variable called is connected and we're just going to set that to true and pretend that the user has an internet connection. Now let's go ahead and create a function that says connect to internet. And we're going to open a block. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the keyword guard. And it's going to guard is connected, else it's going to execute this block. So what guard does is check that this is true. And this must be true, or else it's going to fall into the else statement. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and print, there is no internet connection dot 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 and when we use guard we must specify either a return a continue a break or a throw which we will discuss in a later video but for this example we're just going to return out of this function which means any code that is below this will not be executed if we run into this guard so inside here we're going to type in there is internet so if there is an internet connection, we're going to skip this because it is connected. So it's just going to pass by it. And now if we actually go ahead and connect to the internet, for example, you're going to notice that there is an internet connection. Otherwise, if we set the is connected to false, we're going to have no internet and it's going to trigger the guard statement, which means it will print this and then it's going to trigger this return, which is going to prematurely end the function. Now the guard statement can also be used in while loops. So here we're going to create a variable called i. So var i is going to equal zero. And then while i is less than five, we're going to create a print statement. So print this is text dot dot dot. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and type in guard if i is less than three. So it checks that this is true. We're going to continue. Otherwise, we're going to break out of this loop with this special code. Print a uh, O oh, and we're going to break. Otherwise, below this, we're going to print adding one to I. And then of course, what's important is that we increment I. So I plus equals one. So now when we run the program, it's only going to print, I accidentally left connect to internet in there. So let's get rid of that. And we do not need this Boolean anymore. So now when we run this program, we will get this is text, adding one to i, this is text, adding one to i, this is text, adding one to i, and as soon as this becomes false, the guard statement kicks in and says, uh-oh, and we break out of this loop. And we can actually get rid of this one here and rerun the program. And as you can see, we add one to i three times, and then the guard statement kicks in and says, we don't want any more of this, we're going to break. And yeah, you can use it with continue and throw. So to sum it up, it really is just a reversed if else statement. And I'm still trying to figure out right now why I would use this over just an if else. It's so much more intuitive to use if else, but I'm really excited to run into some code eventually that makes use of this guard statement efficiently. But with that being said, guys, that's actually all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.